Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to highlight the highest and lowest sales on a column chart. Column charts can be one of the most common type of charts you show. Why not spice things up by leading your audience to a certain parts of the chart? If you're charting sales or productivity numbers, you may want to focus on the high numbers as well as the low numbers. And with most charts, one of the best ways to do this is with color. You'll choose one standout color for a high value and another color for a low value. And your other values could be some boring gray color. Is it hard to do? No. It's so easy, even a caveman can do it. A caveman could do it. What? <laughs> not cool. I did not no. know you were there. Not... So we have our chart here, our column chart, and this orangish bar represents the high, the high sales, and this blue bar represents the low sales, right? And the rest are just the other ones. If we go to formulas and calculate now, you can see the changes because I have a uh, random number generator here. And showcasing is if you have changes into your data, this is what it'll do. It'll be dynamic, it'll change it. So if I press F9 or calculate now, or if I just press F9, you can see that it changes, right? What if I didn't want to see this column? Right click, hide, it disappears. And closer to the end of the video, I'll show you how to fix that. But let's see how we can have our chart highlight the highs and lows. Control C to copy, to copy that. I'm gonna go here and then Control V to paste. Here I've got my RAM between functions that will generate that. I need two columns, two extra columns that look at the highs and lows. And I'll just call this minimum, I'll call this max. And here there's gonna be an if statement. So it's gonna say if this cell equals the minimum of this range here and press F4 to lock that in because when I copy down, I don't want those to change. If that is true, then give me back this cell. If not, give me an NA. Close parentheses, press enter, double click the fill handle to drop that down. 218 is the lowest out of here. Let's do one for the hike. I'm gonna go into my formula bar here, control C to copy, escape, and then go back in here, control V to paste, and it's B2. I want this to be the max, M-A-X. And if B2 equals B2 to B8, if it then bring back B2, that's right, control enter. And it stays in that cell. Double click the fill handle, bring that down. 229 is the maximum here. And 101 is the minimum there. So that's perfect. Now I need to bring this into a chart, go to insert. Let's go insert a column chart. And we can see that we've got our data here. Let's get rid of these grid lines. I wanna do all the visual design before I put these two columns together, before I mush them together. So let's take care of that first. So the high one, let's make that one green. And let's right click, format data series. I want to format that data series, make sure the S is there. And under the paint, let's make that one green. Do the same thing for this orange one. Select on that, format data series S. Let's make this one orange. And then for the rest here, Format data series, let's make that one gray. So that's nice and gray. Now I can mush them all together. Basically, they're gonna overlap. Go into my series options here, where it says series overlap. Bring that all the way to 100%. You can see now they've all combined over each other. I don't need this label anymore. Click that, press delete. And if I do the F9, you can see everything else changes and the colors kind of stay consistent. Green for the high values, kind of this yellow, orange, yellowish, yellowish orange for the low values. Now, as I mentioned before, if I selected this and right click and hit it, it would disappear. It's just a chart selection. So I need to just select that chart, go into chart design and go to select data. And right here, which says hidden empty cells, click on that and check this checkbox, which says show data in hidden rows and columns, click okay, click okay. And now you can see it's back. So this is how we can color code the column chart to indicate our high values. These are high sales for, and these are the low sales and the high and low values for our column chart. So it kind of stands out in your presentation. Now you see that highlighting the mins and maxes of your data in a column chart is not only easy, it's a visually effective way of helping your audience focus on what you want them to see as more important parts of the chart. Try this solution out the next time you need to compare products or solutions to help make decisions quicker by using color to stand out. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.